So hey guys, have you heard the news? Monsanto has finally been ordered to pay 298 million. Now, many of you know for years together, there have been cases against Monsanto, whether they be their patented seeds, their Roundup, but finally, here's a case where a groundskeeper who was diagnosed with lymphoma was able to get support from a jury to say that Monsanto had to pay him. And they actually willfully caused his cancer, very well knowing the herbicide that they uh, manufacture is a carcinogen. So the herbicide is actually round up. Now, why is this important? It's important on so many different levels. First of all, the functional medical world has been talking about the various foods um, and the toxins and the herbicides and pesticides, and I know the traditional medical world scoffs at this. But here's why this is extremely important. We know food is medicine. And a lot of times food like soybeans, which in the rest of the world is actually um, touted as, a, first of all, it's a whole protein. Secondly, it reduces the risk of breast cancer. In the United States, it actually increases the risk of breast cancer. That's because soybeans are sprayed with Roundup. Roundup has the, uh, uh, the glyphosate, and soybean has the natural phytoestrogen called genistein. So genistein and glyphosate together can increase the estrogen state and therefore increase the risk of breast cancer. Now, when I talk about that, we're really talking about the genetically modified soybean, which is 96% of the soy in this country. And not only that, it is also, um, it's not only genetically modified, it's not organic because the herbicide is being sprayed on it. And therefore the soybean can withstand the herbicide. Now when you do the organic and the non-genetically modified soy, the risk for breast cancer should not be so high. And in fact, there should not be a risk for breast cancer, which is what we see in the rest of the world. So that's why it's very important, first of all, altering our good foods to become harmful to us, that probably this might be the first step where most of these companies would have to take a second look at what they do. Uh, the second thing is also getting P, uh, uh, these main, uh, this regular medical world to realize sometimes the food is a huge, the environment is actually responsible for 90% of our disease processes. And here's evidence. We, and I'm sure this particular case has produced enough evidence for um, the company to really be ordered to pay so much. So I'm hoping more cases that are against Monsanto will also come to fruition and they will be brought to justice, which means it will really shift our health and our health care. So that's why I wanted to bring this news to you. And as you can see, I'm out of town, but I really thought this was awesome. And I definitely want our, everybody who follow our page um, understand that we, we are really looking out for all of these changes that will happen. So health and wellness will become a natural, um, what, what can I say, a natural path for us rather than disease and then trying to get well. Changing our environment is going to be very important for that. You need to know what in your environment is harming you. Once again, Dr. Chalam, founder of Holistic and Integrative Center of Novi, the best place for you to find your best doctor, and that is always you.